Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some Terra Genesis episode 7 with our series here and we have unfortunately I guess I have let oxygen go a little bit too high so I've been really busy lately I've been packing because I'm about to go on vacation for two weeks and I've been just so busy with work trying to catch up and and whatnot that I haven't had a chance to log in too often and I forgot to log in yesterday and make sure that this was under control and obviously it's gotten out of control. So there's a couple different things I can do. Uh, one thing would be that I can just go ahead and uh, disable one of these. I could even uh, probably disable two of these. And that'll get rid of 20 of the oxygen right there, which it did. Then what I'll do is I'll go and upgrade the O2 filters that we've got here they need to be upgraded as well as this one and that should fix the problem temporarily and then we can turn those on once we've caught ourselves back up and we've stabilized the oxygen level you know this is kind of like how Genesis goes you swing left and right left and right until you finally try to hit that you know you try to focus on getting that center we are down to 5.9 pressure so uh, not not bad but still not good and atmosphere is still thinning but it's starting to slow down a bit so we'll see where that kind of stops and then we'll go from there and we just stopped the water at 272,000 that's perfect we're gonna leave it there this vapor is going to eventually rain down. It'll fill up to 272,000 centimeters. The goal is 300,000. We will build geocisterns to offset the rest of that. And we'll eventually turn this... Oh no, we'll actually keep that on because it offsets both hab domes. So I'm not going to mess with that anymore. I'm going to let it be uh, just like that as it is. Now, speaking of hab domes, you got minus 40 water plus 10 oxygen. We could build two hab domes here, and I think that that would be okay. Two hab domes, one more electro, uh, electrosis plant would get rid of it, but that does produce, that would produce 20 oxygen. So we're not ready for hab domes here yet. We'll do hab domes here once I get the oxygen stabilized. Oxygen needs to be stabilized. What can I build that'll stabilize oxygen faster? So we've got this. This is minus 40 oxygen plus 10 pressure. I could do another carbon fixer. It's not a bad idea. If I build the carbon fixer, I could build two more hab domes. And probably turn the other two things back on. Uh, we are going to actually refuse that. Okay, so... Hmm. I don't know if I want to do another carbon fixture or just get these. I feel like I should just focus on getting the oxygen balanced before I start messing with it again, or I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose uh, track of it. Oh, crap. Let's see. It's plus six right now. We've got to get in the negatives, which we're working on doing by upgrading the O2 filters. We're actually upgrading all three of them, so that'll put it to zero. If I did the electrosis, the carbon fixer, actually, I think it is. If I did that. Be minus 40 two hab domes would be minus 20 if I turn these on that would be zero again but I should wait till these are done just in case anything changes so no point in really jumping into it just yet is there anything I can build I've got the spaceport we could do the satellite uh, there's gonna be things here I'm probably still gonna want to research the ice launcher is not really what we need oxygen plant we're gonna need an oxygen plant at some point this is minus 80 oxygen plus 20 water um but no that ain't gonna work though probably don't need thermal dust but eventually we might if we go under heating cluster i don't think we're gonna need so anytime soon solar shade um, would make heat go down faster and would balance out oxygen, but we it also costs credits. This is better, the aerostat platform, because it gives us credits and it's minus 40 heat. I don't want to build that, though, because uh, the heat's already thinning itself out. I feel like I might, I might um, screw it up if I do that. Let me go to the counties here. So this mine isn't really producing anything else. Um, and all in all, this is just by, kind of been a bad spot now for mining. So why don't we replace this with another one? It's good every now and again, I think, to, to cycle your mines because 
you can so you click on that because that's actually blocking my button I need I think or not how do I get rid of the mine I know there's a button to do it here it is yeah see it was getting rid of it it's so stupid um, view from orbit rename the mouse we're gonna actually get the mouse this Um, that does obviously take up a lot of credits, but I, I want to find a new location, see if we can uh, get some more rare earth. And I could build it in a lower area. I don't know if there's any difference. Um, I think I know that the map randomly generates, so it's not always the same. It randomly generates where the resources are going to be, but I don't know if it favors certain resources in higher or lower locations it kind of makes sense that the rare resources would be in areas that could potentially be flooded because that would be a more risk you know risk versus reward so let's try that theory since we've got some time before we have water anyways let's let's go ahead and put one here in victoria but we'll actually call this uh risky risky biz actually like that and we'll try to put one here two kilometers above sea level. That would definitely get flooded if the water, if that water rained down upon us. But let's see if, if there's higher. We're going to test this theory out. So we're looking for rhodium. And we'll see if that theory holds, um, holds water for lack of a better way to put it. A little pun there. Since we're lower, there's a pretty good amount of it right there. Not a whole lot. We'll put a mine so I don't lose it. Um, I mean, there's more than there was at Sophio, but I wouldn't say that there's like an astounding amount more. It seems like I'm hitting like a little bit more than I was there, but maybe not. Maybe about the same amount. How about Palladium? This obviously isn't going to tell me anything anyways. I'd have to do this a couple times to see if it's, there's a pattern. Um, there's definitely more palladium. It really might just be random. Um, 100% random. Um, you know, like I said, there's, there seems to be a little bit more palladium, but that, that doesn't tell me anything. How about silver? We're definitely hitting some decent amounts of silver. Right about there's it. Yeah, so I don't know. It doesn't really seem like it's any different. I'll try I'll try this a couple other times and see if we get anything out of it. But I don't know if it's different or not. It doesn't seem like it. So we've gotten research going. The oxygen plant, which is good. Um, we're not going to do anything with this just yet. I want to get a hab unit here. Or a hab dome here. But I think I need to offset the oxygen thing going on here before I build another hab dome and introduce more oxygen and water to the planet. I actually could get another electrosis plant going. That's that's more oxygen too. So yeah, I'm not going to do any of that just yet. And then for New Hope, we'll turn those on once we're ready. But I think... I think we could go ahead and build the... The space elevator oh no we can't actually oh and there's no moons that sucks but that obviously there's not venus has no moons um so that's gonna make it even harder to get the that's gonna make it really hard actually to get the points uh the culture points for independence because i can't massively boost population without any side effects that's gonna be rough uh, we do have artificial satellites uh the space elevator is the space elevator 
is the only thing I can build. I know there's some confusion in the comment section. Um, you can see that only the space elevator is accessible in expert mode, so you can't actually build the any of the other stuff. I, I kind of understand why, because the other stuff does make it uh, much easier to win the game and to have a perfect planet. But uh, it does actually take away a little bit of cool stuff, too. I wish it just maybe made them, like, a lot more expensive. Um, even then, the space elevator is pretty pricey. You do get 50,000 credits, which is nice. 250,000 population. Um, every other colony gets a bonus, 100 population. It's it's not really that amazing, but um, it's not that amazing at all, actually. It, it, it could use a little bit of a boost in terms of, like, socket colony. Maybe, like, plus 500 or something. I mean, well, it's 250 when you have to get, like, millions to get enough culture points to win, but whatever. Uh, the plus 100 population, though... Uh, isn't bad because every time you build a colony you get a little bit more people in it so it kind of pays off and then the 50,000 credits is really the, the big bonus here so it costs 100 million credits though and while we do have the money I don't want to spend all my money just yet so we'll go ahead and let this stuff go up and we might as well spend the culture points since we've got it I think that puts us at 55 percent it's gonna be harder to get the other culture points how much do I need in population 100,000 for the next culture point uh, we actually we actually can get there. We I think we can hold a hundred thousand. We just haven't gotten it. Yeah, we can hold a hundred thousand. We're just slowly building up. Uh, the native birth rate here is what's really slowing us down. Uh, it probably wouldn't hurt. That'll go up though, but it, it still wouldn't hurt. And then this one here, yeah, I put the spaceport here. Probably could have put it in Ricard, but um, I'll put hab domes. I'll put two hab domes here at some point, so it's it's gonna be okay. And then some more hab domes eventually once I can figure out how I'm going to cancel them all out. But I think we've covered everything we can for now. So we'll go ahead and let some time tick by. And then I'll try to get another one in before I leave on vacation. And then that'll be it until I get back. I'll end up pausing because you can actually pause your planet. So I'll end up pausing it because it is on my computer for those of you that have been asking. I am playing on my computer. That's why there's a cursor and I'm using a program called Blue Stacks. So uh, yeah, I'll end up pausing it because I'll be away from my computer. Uh, and I won't have an opportunity to play it and I don't want my planet to implode while I'm gone but yeah so I want to thank you all for joining me I do hope that you've enjoyed it I look forward to seeing you next time